<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So here we are, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year is coming up. And so I wanted to share a little video with you of what I do at the end of the year to jumpstart the new year in our home. It's just my little personal kind of foundation thing that I do uh, to cleanse my home and to show my gratitude to the Almighty for another year well lived. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I wanted to do a little self-care kind of video. So this is what I do at my home at the end of the year, either on Christmas or right around Christmas or New Year's or right after New Year's. I don't have to set anything, you know. Life is already hard enough. Do it when you can, when you can around that time. And so I've already explained to you guys, you know, my beliefs are uh, very much tied into Christianity. So what I do is I do a smoke cleanse of my home and I put on gold because baby Jesus, <laughs> the three wise men brought him gold. So here's the gold. Uh, frankincense and mirth. And so that's what I have here up here so i'm burning the frankincense and mirth and here's my little nativity set that i have there's joseph and all the animals and the pastor pasturing the other animals about and the angel and mary and the three wise men so, you know, it's my little nativity set. And again, I'm not trying to say this is what you should do. I'm just sharing a little bit of self-care of what I do around this time of Christmas. So here I take my little incense and actually, hey Cooper, and you mini Cooper, there's Cooper. So I typically start with my bedroom so if you guys want to start with your bedroom, that's what I do. And I start and I do a prayer and I do the incense up here. So, you know, I start at the far end corner of my bedroom. Now be careful, you know, I don't like to tell anyone to do anything with fire or smoke. You, if you're a careful person, then do it. If you're clumsy and a little careless, then you can skip all this. <laughs> So, and the first thing I say is, you know, I usually say it in Spanish. Uh, gratitud, gratitud y gracias. Gratitude, gratitude, and thanks for my life, for my family, for my loved ones, for my animals, for my pets, for, you know, giving me strength. And then I do the Lord's Prayer. I say the Lord's Prayer. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. And you know, when you do the Lord's Prayer, and you smoke out your area, and you do this all around the house. And here's my little office slash guest room. You know, I do the same here. Here's where I do all my readings. And where I work. And so I thank the Almighty and my family members that have passed away that are still with me. And I thank them and I thank for um, the Almighty for my pets and my loved ones and my friends again. And that's basically it. I just thank, thank, and thank. And I pray that next year will be the same. And thank you for helping me read the Tasa and, you know, keep me a good person. You know, give me humility. Give me strength. Hi, buddy. Buddy, you gonna give mama too? Yeah, thank you, baby. You're so sweet. Thank you for giving me such a sweet, smart, clever, adorable dog. <laughs> 
you know, thank you for keeping, keep me humble, you know, keep me uh, disciplined, help me with patience, help me deal with difficult people. Thank you for everything you've already done. It's that sort of thing. And I go around my house and I do this over and over. And I even do it on my pets thing. Actually, it's very important to me to have food in my home. So I go and I, and let's see if I can turn on this light. So this is my little, my little pet storage where I keep their food and I, and I say, please, Dios mío, Jesús, my family, help me keep my pets fed. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've done. And I smoked that area there to keep my pets. And here's some other food that I have for them. And I kind of do that. Bless our food and the pantry. And I hope this is not a very wobbly video, but I'm not very good at doing all this. I should have gotten a GoPro. And I do that to my dining room. Keep us fed and let your will be done and give me the strength to accept your will. And you guys, this works so much for me. It keeps me grounded throughout the year. It keeps me grounded throughout the year. And I, I, I usually, not too much, but I go real quick over my pets. Yeah, Cooper don't like it. <laughs> and I say, thank you, Cooper. Yeah, Cooper, you don't want to go over here? Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to, Cooper. Keep my Cooper healthy and sweet. And thank you for him. And that's basically it. So that was basically it with the home. And then once you're done with that, then I don't blow it out. I just let it kind of die out on its own. And once I make sure it's completely out, I keep doing my prayers of thanks. And, you know, you pray for... I pray for my mom to keep her healthy and to keep her strong and so forth and so forth. When you do this, try to clean your home. Try to have it clean. Like, okay, so this is this is not how I did it. I already did it. So this is just a recap. But I typically clean out everything. Now it doesn't look that, you know, clean. But I usually try to have everything cleaned out. Um, and vacuumed, you know, do what you can, do what you can, and you uh, also have to be bathed and clean and, you know, show respect the same way you would, you know, to go to a special special occasion, you would bathe and you would get dressed up, you would have nice clothes, right now I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm saying all this, but, so when I did it for my home, I wasn't wearing this, this is my ice skating sweater, so I don't, I don't like to exercise, I don't do good at the gym, I don't, it's boring to me, so I usually just either dance or go skating, ice skating, or hiking in the summer, or biking. So, I have this this thing on. It kind of goes over your thumb, kind of like this. So, it kind of goes over, like, your hand like that. So, anyway. So, then you clean your home, you clean everything, and then you do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just, you know, a little bit more organized and a little bit cleaned out more than usual. Ow, you're scratching me. <laughs> I got a little cat scratching me. You want to scratch? Ooh, it's little Shakira. Oh, ow. <laughs> so, yep. So that's basically what that entails. And now I'm going to do another uh, self-care. Stay tuned for that video. Probably put it up tomorrow when there's light outside because it has to be outside. On spirituality, how to grow your um, tarot abilities and your tasa abilities and um, have dreams about things uh, to do with readings and predictions. So I'll do that tomorrow once I have some sunlight. And it's not what you think. It's basically, I'll give you a little glimpse. So um, I don't really, so like my mom, she does a soup kitchen. I don't do a soup kitchen. I just basically feed all the animals in the neighborhood. If I find a cat, I take him to the Humane Society. I feed every animal I can. I feed the strays. I take him to shelters. I provide shelters for them while they're here. I put water out. I put food out. 
Um, so I do a lot of that. I do donations uh, to non-kill shelters and and things like that. So that's what I do for, for my uh, spirituality. And so I can't really afford to do that if I go to get my hair done or my nails done. So I gave up on doing my nails or going to the salon. It's not for everybody. <laughs> It's not for everybody. I learned to do my nails and I get a lot of compliments on my hands, even from you guys. Thank you so much. So I think I've been blessed. I've been blessed that I sacrificed all that, you know, that for me, it does. it's not important. I'm sure if you have a job that you need to get your nails up. I, I am not criticizing that. You do what you can. I'm just saying for me, since I work from home and I've been working from home for years, even before the COVID, I don't have that necessity anymore. So it works for me. It works out for me. So I don't go get my hair done. I don't go get my nails done. I don't do any of that. So that money goes to donations for pets and for pet foods, bird seeds and bird baths and, you know, bags of food for dogs and for cats. And... Hey, Goober, you going to go there? Oh, 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 you <laughs> And so that kind of works for me. I'm not saying it, 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 that's what you should do. I'm just sharing. Um, so that's what I kind of do. But I'll show you. I'll go step by step. It's kind of what I do and the prayers that I say when I'm pouring in the seeds and the water and all that. Cleaning out the area. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll see you soon.